a local community taking matters into their own hands. This after wild coyotes attacked small dogs in West Boca Raton. Good afternoon. I'm Tiffany Kenny. And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. WPBF 25's John Zanitas joins us live in the Timberwalk neighborhood where the Homeowners Association has now hired a wildlife trapper. John? Yeah, and this is one of the traps right here. It is camouflaged. It blends in. It has raw chicken and cat food inside. The wildlife trapper told me, given how aggressive these coyotes have become, this might just do the trick. It's my coyote chaser. Robert Oldershaw holds his dog's leash in one hand, a club in the other. But everybody's nervous about, you know, what's happening. Just one day ago, a dog in the Timberwalk neighborhood was snatched away by a coyote while she was on a leash. It came from this direction and just grabbed her by the neck and I pulled. It ran into the woods, very heavy woods. I ran after it. Kiwi survived, but just days before in the nearby Boca Winds community, little Lola wasn't so lucky. Something has to be done about it. It's obviously not the first time. Got it. The FWC doesn't trap coyotes, and animal control only becomes involved if they suspect the coyote is rabid. So the Timberwalk Homeowners Association decided to hire their own trapper. They're very difficult to catch. Wildlife trapper Paul Zambrano says coyotes are very intelligent. Males can cover 40 square miles searching for food. So he's setting up strategically placed and camouflaged cages with raw chicken inside. Which hopefully these coyotes will find irresistible. Being that these uh, particular uh, coyotes are being so aggressive, I think it's going to be a little easier to trap them. Now, Wildlife Trapper says he's working with FWC to possibly relocate these coyotes if they're caught, but because they've been so aggressive in attacking domestic pets, they, may ha they might have to be put down. Reporting live in West Boca Raton, John Zanita, WPBF 25 News. John